Hey everyone, this is Owen of Off Kilter, and I'm going to replace the back shocks today. This is a pretty easy job. What we need are two shocks, which are right there. We need new hardware, like bushing. We need a bag of tools, which is right here. We need some thread rocker, that's right there. And we're going to need some PV blaster to make it loose. The first, um... Thing we need to do is remove the trim. We can do that with our hands. We don't need any special tools. tools. And let's get to that. You see this right here? Yeah. You just pull up on it real hard. <gasps> do you need help? Oh, you got it. Oh, there you go. All right, hold on, hold on. Now come over here and do it on this side. It's hard on this side. Keep going. Ugh. And we took and we took it off. Now we can do this part. Good job. I didn't even have to tell you that. Yep, that comes off. Yeah. I'm going to need a tool for this one. No, you don't need tools. We're going to need to replace this too. Because um, the, the nut is under here, which is where we're going to have to put the shock and a bolt right there. You need to put the seats down. And pop it off. And pop that off. Don't take it off all the way. We just need to pop it open. And a torque box, torque wrench box is perfect for that, isn't it? Yep. All right. And then we're going to need this nope, tool. No, nope, no, nope. That's the top nut. We need that. And we're going to wash it off. Then we're going to um, put it back in. But yep. we got to clean out this too, though. Let's <laughs> just put some PV blaster on the bolt so it comes off easy. So Daddy just spray the PV blaster, and we do not, and we do not like this new style. We like the product, just not the can. It was it, it was spraying everywhere like an explosion. All right, we just have to um, do the bolt that's just right there. Then we can get back to the top. All right, so go ahead and take that off. Nope, use the box in. Well. Use the, the, this is called the box end right here. Now I'm... Here, I want you to lay down a little bit. You know, this part would work better. If you think you can do it better that way, that's fine. See how it gets in its shape? Yeah. There you go. Keep going. See? You gotta take you gotta take that off. Oh come on. Yeah, I have to do it on this side. Yeah. We got this one, and we're gonna take that off along with the flat washer. Let's bring this out so we can clean it and move to the top. Now this will spin, so we had to keep vice grips on top to keep it from spinning. And that, um, while I spin it, it doesn't interrupt it. See how it. Um, so guys, I'm, I'm already getting tired, but we still gotta do this. What do you think? You like working on cars? No. <laughs> Why not? It's, it's, 
it gets me tired. Now all we do is to slide the shock off of the bolt. All right, can you grab the shock and pull it? Right, right here? Yep, can you pull it off that bolt? Here, do we need to tap the bolt? Yeah. All right, watch yourself. I did not know that the shocks stuck there. Okay, so now we have the shock out. Now we just have to clean out the parts and just take it and put it back just the way it was, but clean. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed seeing Owen work on the car. He's never like really worked on it. It's been more of a gopher situation, which all kids start out doing. Uh, he wasn't able to finish, he was, <laughs> Um, I had him get something for me out of the, the car. I don't even remember what it was at this point, the keys. And let's see, he was balancing on this and he fell and, and scraped his knee up really bad. And then he went head first, sorry, it's backwards, head first into this thing. Um, little goose egg here. It's not too bad, but so I finished, uh, just to recap some things, it's a really easy job. When you do the back, this is a 2012 uh, Ford Escape. When you do the back shocks, you don't have to jack it up or anything. It stays at ride height. All you have to do, remove the panels that you saw Owen doing and remove two bolts. And that's really about it. Um, the top bolt or the top nut is a 15. The bottom is uh, 15 sixteenths. And if you go to torque it, it's 130 pounds on the bottom, 30 pounds on the top, and you put it back together. Once um, Owen left and all I had to do was put the other one in, I was able to do the other side in about 10 minutes. It's not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead, go home, get my jack, my jack stands. I'm gonna do the front strut mounts. I'm not gonna video that, um, but those are really easy too. And I even found a way where you don't have to do an alignment, which I really, really appreciate. So I'm gonna go do that. That should only take me about 20 minutes aside, should. <laughs> um, and then we will be done for the day. So I'm gonna go get all that stuff. I'm gonna rotate the tires. The reason why I'm doing this is the tires are getting kind of choppy and so it's really, really loud. And so I tested the suspension. Um, it's the original suspension. Car's got 180,000 miles on it. So it was due to be changed. The back didn't really need to be changed. Um, it was mainly the front. So I'm gonna rotate the back tires to the front on a cross rotation pattern to help um, wear it back, wear the tires back even because they're new tires. So um, I'm gonna do that, rotate the front straight back and uh, see if we can get a little bit more life out of these tires. If not, I'll replace them before we go on our trip. That's what it is. He tried to tell you all goodbye, but he was crying. And so I just said, buddy, daddy will take care of it. So he's fine. You know, it's just a little scrape. He's, it's no problem. I think the blood kind of freaked him out more than anything else. So y'all be self-sufficient. Help everyone you can. It can be needs no one. And you have a good day. Bye. You all be self-sufficient. Help everyone you can. Inconvenience. No one have a great day. Bye. Do you wanna? Do you wanna show them your boo boo? No, you don't wanna show them your knee. No. Oh, look at that! How'd that happen? <laughs>